All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So, uh, we are doing our monthly exchange of the decks on Daily Duels. So, Lord of Red is out and shall be replaced with Blue Eyes on Monday for the next upcoming month. So, it's pretty much OG Yu-Gi-Oh! Day without <laughs> Yugi. Because, of course, with card view, we looked at uh, Wing Dragon Raw. So, uh, Shameless Plug, you can go ahead and look at that. The Phoenix Mode. And then, of course, deck profile for Lord of Red, Joey's deck. And then, uh, we'll be joined with uh, Blue Eyes, which is Kaiba's. So, yeah, everybody with Yugi gets some loving today. Anyway, Lord of Red deck. So this deck was a struggle, I must say. Uh, unlike where usual, it's just like, hey, Archetype, play Cosmos, or play, you know, Magic Spectres. This one is literally just, Lord of Red, make the deck. It's, you know, when you base a deck off of one monster, as I know, being Yellow Mastery, the struggle is real. So uh, it took me a while to get this deck to work, and sometimes it did, sometimes it didn't. I really wouldn't recommend the deck. I really wouldn't recommend Red Eyes as a whole as a deck. Uh, people were kind of hyping up saying that it was going to be tier 1. No, no. <laughs> but uh, I tried. I tried. So I'm going to go ahead and go over deck profile. i give you guys my thought process. You can go ahead and take the deck, make it yourself. Go ahead and play with it. Just make changes, whatever. Do whatever you want with it. But the struggles were real. So, of course, starting off, we're running uh, Lord of Red, obviously, in the Lord of Red deck. I uh, wanted to have him at 3 for consistency's sake. Uh, we have 3 cards to ritual summon him, so I was like, 3 Lord of Red. Yeah, I want to see Lord of Red, I want to ritual summon him. If he's the focus of the deck, at, at some decks I was on, I think I was running 2, and then getting Lord of Down because I had other plays, but that deck I was like, I want Lord of the Red. Lord of the Red, this is the card that I want to summon, so definitely 3. Of course, we have 3 Red Eyes and 2 Summon Scar, the usual ratio when it comes to a Red Eyes deck, so this is more Red Eyes deck combined with Lord of the Red. Uh, so, uh, you run the three red eyes to make sure that you go ahead and get the plays. I do not run um, uh, the egg, I, 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 the stone. I don't feel like there's really a reason to. It's like, oh, tribute summon red eyes. I've never been a big fan of the stone, to tell you the truth. Uh, just like, oh, summon red eyes. And so, uh, yeah, uh, wanted to go ahead and have them. You run some skulls so you can go ahead and fuse with the deck with red eyes fusion because it has to be a, uh, a normal monster. So it has to be a normal archfiend, i.e., being. Summon Skull, so you can't even run any of that Gemini. I don't think I've seen anybody run that uh, Gemini Summon Skull Archfiend guy, because you can't fuse from your deck with it, so no point bothering. Alright, you're probably wondering what's up with the Charcoal and Pachi. Alright, the Charcoal and Pachi is uh, pretty much for an additional play that we can do. So not only can I fuse from my deck with Red Eyes Fusion, but I can also uh, ritual with my deck with Advanced Ritual. So I need a total level of exactly the, the total levels uh, equal exactly that ritual monster, so red, Lord of Red is 8, so a Red Eyes and a Charcoal and Pachi, being, i.e. being level 1. But there's also another synergy with uh, Junk Synchron, so we'll go ahead and go into that as well. So yeah, that's the reason why two Charcoal and Pachis. I was trying to keep the ratio similar, so I was like, alright, two Venture Troy, two Charcoal and Pachi. Don't want to clog him with like three, he's not really not necessary, but he's fine. Uh, of course, his ritual deck, so three Manju. Uh, I really want to clog too much with Manju and Sanju and Sonic Bird. I was like, yeah, that, that would probably increase my consistency of summoning uh, the Lord of Red, but it's a little bit slow. You know, I've got to use my normal summon and, you know, this deck. Sometimes I want to use my normal summon, or sometimes I don't get a normal summon at all, so you really can't risk too much when it comes to that. So we'll just go with the best uh, ritual grabber, uh, Manju, and uh, either grab me my uh, Vance Ritual Lord or my Transmigration or my Lord of the Red, so it's all good. Alright, before I explain Junk Synchro, let me go ahead and explain the Black Metal. Uh, Black Metal is probably one of the best Red Eyes cards, and I'm surprised that this is the Secret Red. No, uh, the Secret Red, the Secret Rare. Uh, not only be able to equip to a Red Eyes monster and get, give it uh, 600 attack, uh, so you know, easily making him like a 3600 beater, like he needs more attack. But when this card is set from the Red Eyes, you get a Red Eyes card from your deck to your hand, including Red Eyes Fusion. So I'm surprised that this card is not the Secret Rare, and yet the common and you know. Stone is the secret rare. I think it should have been flipped around if Konami really wanted to make the big bucks. As you can clearly see, I'm this deck, I'm not even running the stone, so I don't even care. Uh, but yeah, Black Metal, uh, pretty much the play with uh, Junk Secret is besides just, you know, go ahead and give me that fusion because fusion makes red eyes so good. Uh, Black Metal, when it's sent to the graveyard, I get a red eyes card, so I can go ahead and get my red eyes transmigration, which is, you know, my other ritual card. Uh, I usually don't use this card, I'd rather do the advanced ritual art way, but if I need be, I can go ahead and uh, tribute uh, from my hand in my field, or I can banish Red Eyes Monsters in my graveyard, so uh, if I need to and I got some Red Eyes I don't need anymore, I can go ahead and banish it to do a majority of the tribute. I still need to tribute another uh, level, because it's 8 or more, while Red Eyes is almost 7, but you know, if I can banish a Red Eyes in my graveyard I'm not using it and tribute like, you know, like a level 1 Chuckle and Patchy or something, then Transmigration is fine. So yeah. Uh, it gets me my transmigration, 
And then the play with Junk Synchron that you're probably wondering is uh, when you start on summoning, I target a level 2 or lower monster in my graveyard. Special summon it, special negate it, I don't care because this revolves in the graveyard. So uh, Junk Synchron, summon this back, Synchron summon, and uh, I will get my search of a Red Eyes card. But then I can go ahead and Synchron summon into Hero Arclight, which is pretty much. Uh, I don't live in the ghetto. <laughs> when a spell trap or monster effect is activated, I can choose this card and get that if I do destroy it. But the major part is, if this card is sent to the graveyard, I can add one ritual monster or spell uh, card from my deck to my hand. But your eyes already know this, we're freaking necro, so uh, they just is to just double up. So summon, summon, synchro, this will go to the graveyard, give me my red eyes card. This is sent to the graveyard, give me my ritual monster, give me my lord of red. So that's the gist of the place. Uh, and this also, I can do this play with Chuckle and Pachi as well. Probably why you're wondering why I'm, uh, I'm not running, you see the, the Dragon Shrine, but I'm not running dragons like that. A normal monster that I can send additionally, i.e. being uh, my Flingsville Guard. And the reason why is uh, Flingsville Guard is a level 1 normal monster, so he would work with the whole Transmigration play. I mean, the Vance Ritual I play, but he wouldn't work with Junk Synchron because it, there's also tuners. So if I go Junk Synchron summon Flamesville Guard, they're both tuners, so I can't sing. So that's the reason why it's Truck and Pachi and not Flamesville Guard, even though uh, you can go ahead and Dragon Shrine the Flamesville Guard. So, yeah. And then, uh, since it's a Lord of Red deck, and of course, since Maxi is pretty good any ob as a standalone card, but Lord of Red deck, Maxi, uh, I don't like 3 3 is cloggy. Uh, 2 Maxi is fun. So, you know, during my opponent's turn, uh, my effect will go off during either player's turn, so I'd just be like, Maxi, you know, Lord of Red effect, pop a monster, you know, pop your back row. So, yeah, so it's actually a Maxi is a pretty good card just to have synergy with the Lord of Red. Alright, and that's the monsters, 21. Not bad. Alright, uh, Foolish, go ahead and send him my uh, black metal, uh, one for one, go ahead and special summon my black metal, uh, try and send my black metal, like, I need black metal in the graveyard to go ahead and pull off the junk scene complex. It suggested that I run tuning, but it didn't really seem necessary, I'm already running one rota, one rota to three junk scene crown seems fine in ratio, I don't want to run too many, I don't want to run, you know, like, you know, rota and three junk scene crown, three tuning, when I'm only searching for junk scene crown tuning, the ratio will be off, and, you know, while it may be good and I may mill, you know, something I want to revive out of the graveyard, there may be something that I don't want to mill off the top of my deck, so, yeah. So I was like, I don't want to risk that. So Rota, Regeki, uh, Events Ritual, Dragon Shine. I already talked about that. Of course, three Radis Fusion. Three, that's a given. You want this guy out. ASAP, he's so good. 32 Armadies, that burns you. It's just so great. So yeah. Uh, one Dragon's Mirror. We have a couple of normal monsters. So if later in the duel, if I don't mind banishing them, you know, I've gotten my use out of Summon Skull. I've gotten my use out of Truck on Pouchy. Why not go ahead and play Dragon's Mirror, banish them, and then summon the powerful first few dragons? Why not? Uh, two Twin Twisters, not only because, uh, you know, there's some cards in my hand that I wouldn't mind pitching. Black Metal. You know, just Twin Twister black, pitch Black Metal, it's in my graveyard, then I can go off with the Junk Synchron uh, plays, but, you know, Twin Twister's just great. Quick play spell card that I can use during my opponent's turn, so I can just be like, Twin Twister, pitch, uh, pop your back row, and then Lord of Red will go off and I'll pop the monster, so that plays good. And then, as in close see, we're very stopped up, we don't have room to really run back row, so let's go ahead and run Royal Decree. It wasn't attack depth, but still, Royal Decree. Let me go ahead and, um... Uh, negate your trap card so I don't even have to worry about your plays. I don't have to worry about your storming force, your mirror force, whatever, and then come at you with that uh, black skull dragon. Not bad, not bad. So, uh, like I said, on paper the deck is fine, but just sometimes it just didn't want to work. Sometimes you draw them to this and to this, and it's just a lot of risk versus reward when it comes to this deck. Uh, extra deck, one Castell, is not only level 4s. Uh, there's not a lot. <laughs> it's just Manju, but still, uh, it's good to have a Castell. These are like, the XE monsters are really just emergencies where I had to play, so I might as well have it in my toolbox. I have a lot of room, so why not? So, level 4 Castell, uh, my level 8 Felgram for a load of red, because why not? Uh, then my level 7s, we have some red eyes here, so why not? A uh, flare to burn you for game, and they gotta take your monsters just in case. We have some 6s as summon skull, so. Uh, M7, we have some level 1, so uh, Slacker Magician, just in case. And then, of course, Triple Black Skull Dragon, I don't care, I have the extra space. We're gonna run Triple, we're gonna run Triple, we are going to get this guy out, and he's gonna be awesome. Uh, I kinda wanted to run some Revival, because he, of course, uh, once he's summoned properly, he can be revived from the graveyard, which is just a great play. But, like I said, I can't risk it. I couldn't risk it, I was trying it, and it wasn't working out well. I was keep on getting stopped by back row, so I was like, you know what, screw it, we need to get this back row hate. We need to take out the back row as even a factor for the reason why I'm losing with this deck. Of course, we're our first dragon, so we have one dragon here, why not? Synchron plays. Uh, Armadies. We can actually go on him, because I can go Junk Synchron, summon back my Max C, and then Armadies. Cash for two. Uh, this is just in case I don't want to do the, the Herald play, then we have Old Entity Haster, who's a pretty good standalone monster for a generic Sync 4, so yeah. 
uh, cards that also you want to talk about, Mathematician. I think you're probably saying, like, well, if you really want to send them. The problem is, like I said, normal summon is very important in this deck, and like I said, with Foolish, 1 for 1, and 3 Dragon Shrines, it just doesn't seem like I really need Mathematician, so I decided to take them out. Uh, I was thinking about maybe playing this as some ritual plays. Uh, you know, just go ahead and special summon him and then tribute him, summon that uh, red one, which is actually a pretty good play. Uh, but then I would probably have to run a uh, level 4 normal monster just in case. I open up with the Paladin and Advanced uh, Ritual, so I'd have to run another level 4 normal monster, and that's totally what this deck needs is more normal monsters. Uh, and this card is actually really good, and that's what it's can do too, because during your main phase, detect to turn this card into graveyard. You can banish it from your graveyard to add one red eye spell trap from your deck to your hand. But, you know, with being able to send to the graveyard with all of this, and then these in the graveyard, revive it with this, or equip it to a red eye card, this card should be just more than enough. But this is, the, this, is this, and this is the reason why I was considering running this. But then I would just have to run additional things, I just didn't have the room. You can clearly see, I just don't have the room. And then red them. Of course, Redem can summon me back my Lord of Red if it's dead in the graveyard, because, of course, once it's summoned properly, it can be revived as well, or summon my uh, Black Skull, and he's good as well. But there you go, people. There is the Lord of Red deck. I tried. I really did. For the last month, I really tried hard, but there was more losses than wins, and I, <laughs> I apologize for that, but, I, you know, uh, that's what happens when you just try to think outside the box and play something that's not uh, competitive or not an archetype where, you know, it's not just set in stone, it's not cookie cutter, you gotta go out of your way to create something like this. And I think that I did, I think I did this deck justice for, you know, what it was. I did a lot of research and I actually took the time and effort to, to uh, make this deck. I tried my best, people, so you gotta give me that. So, anyway. Uh, I hope that you guys the short, the, enjoyed the short time that Lord of Red was on here. It was fun and it was unique, uh, but we are moving on. So, of course, the video for the first uh, video for Blue Eyes is up. So you can go ahead and check that out as well. If not, eh, more power to you. But just know that Blue Eyes will be on Dead Duels on Monday for the next upcoming month until we do the, you know, relaunch up for uh, January and February and March and forever long we continue to do this. I'll uh, keeping Dead Duels nice and fresh by uh, rotating decks out. And, of course, the decks that are... Uh, currently on the lineup can be revoted for another month. It just happened to be that Lord of Red did not get another month, which is understandable. So, uh, if you guys have any suggestions, uh, keep them to yourself because I'm not working on this deck anymore. I'm done with it. I will literally just hit the delete button after I'm done with this video, this deck profile. And uh, like I said, if you guys want to go ahead and take it, make some changes, more power to you. So, thanks for watching, for cross support, and yeah, see you guys with some more deck profiles for the rest of the week. Thanks for watching.